Oh my god, I'm 22. Oh wow, that's so lovely. This is today's outfit of choice. Let the birthday celebrations begin, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would start by sharing with you guys today's outfit. Can we take a minute? I mean, I've got like my basic black Primark socks on, I'm not gonna lie, but this is today's jumpsuit. I'm going out for some drinks with my friend. I'm going out for a meal as well, actually, and I wanted to debut this jumpsuit. It's from Under the Stories. I think I might do up that top button as well, actually, um, but it's corduroy and it's in this beautiful green colour. I absolutely love it. It's got this really, really cool belt on as well, which is like really, really easy to tie. It's really complimenting. I really like it. I've got my Daniel Wellington watch and bracelet on. I did my nail if it's ever gonna focus let's take a minute to appreciate those bad boys birthday nails I went for purple I actually think they kind of go with this jumpsuit which is kind of weird because they're totally different colors but I really like them yeah welcome to my 21st not 21st Christ I don't even know how old I am that's how old I'm getting welcome to my 22nd birthday vlog this is so exciting I'm actually starting this on the 6th of August so my birthday is not actually till the 8th so my birthday is on Saturday it's currently Thursday I'm just faffing about trying to get my tripod by the way I've got it now I'm starting it a couple of days early because I got a glossy box through the post which is a bit exciting I've not opened it yet it arrived as I was working earlier on so I literally just thought I won't touch it and I'll start the vlog a bit early and I'll start it tonight because I'm so desperate to unbox it it's a joke so oh my god look at that how cute is this packaging though let's take a second I don't actually know how I'm gonna get this out of the box can we take a minute for this packaging though how cute is that Oh my god, look how cute. Look at the inside of the box, guys. How cute is that? Honestly, Glossy Box are one of my favourite brands ever. I just think they're so, so lovely. Also, it's their ninth anniversary. It's our ninth birthday and we're celebrating in true glossy style. Oh my god. They always give you, in case you didn't actually know because I've not even explained, the Glossy Box is a beauty subscription box that you can get every single month. You pay a set amount each month and then you get a little box through the post every single month of products that are actually worth more than the amount you paid each month. So it's really, really good. You get like way more for your money. I really, really kindly get mine gifted. So this is gifted. It's not sponsored or anything, but it is gifted. So yeah, I'm so, so lucky. I love the team at Glossy Box. They're so lovely. This is their ninth birthday box. I'm so excited to open this. It's got molten brown in it. Oh my God, is that... <gasps> Right, I'm not gonna lie, Malt and Brown do this scent and it's called a Rhubarb and Rose and it smells unbelievable, like I'm not joking, it's the nicest, sweetest smell ever and there's gonna be one in this box, oh my god, I'm so excited. It all comes in like beautiful tissue paper as well. Oh wow, that's so lovely. Look at that guys. I'm gonna get everything out like one by one and show you, oh my god, I'm so excited for this. <gasps> such a decent size isn't it so it's the molten brown delicious rhubarb and rose bath and shower gel i bet this is really expensive oh my god this is the mini i mean it doesn't seem mini i'm not gonna lie this is worth seven pounds 33 i mean to be honest molten brown is a lot more expensive than that so i was expecting it to be more to be honest but honestly guys this smell is insane i will be using that pretty much straight away i'm not gonna lie i feel like it's weird how it's their birthday and mine around the similar time oh is this a little beauty blender i think it is hd wonder complexion sponge i'm actually in need of a new beauty blender so this has come at the perfect time oh look at it it looks like a real techniques one but in baby pink and i much prefer this color actually so yeah oh i love that that retails at 549 I actually think that's quite reasonable for a beauty blender to be honest. It's a very pink theme by the way, like everything is so pink. Oh my god it is. Huda Beauty Demi Matte Cream Lipstick. It's focused now. Oh my god look at that. I wonder what shade I've got. This looks like really pink. I'm gonna put some on now actually. Oh my god look at this colour. I mean, it's gone straight on my teeth, I'm not gonna lie, but look at that colour. I really like that colour. It's not really a colour that I would usually go for, but I actually kind of think it goes with my outfit, which is kind of weird. Oh my god, one of these is worth £18. Each month, it's definitely not £18, so just with that, you're already getting more for your money, which is so, so good. That's so nice. I'm gonna actually keep that out, because I'm gonna put it in my bag. Glossy Box Skincare. Oh my god, have they got a new skincare range? This is the Eye Boost Cream. I'm gonna open up the packaging. Baby Pink is literally one of my favourite colours, and it's Glossy Box's brand colour, so... 
eye boost cream oh my god that looks so cute doesn't it you know what my mum is actually it's not focusing at all is it i was saying my mum is actually in massive need of some eye cream i don't mean that in a nasty way by the way she actually said it to me she was like oh my god i need some eye cream so i feel like this might be good for her it says exclusive subscriber price is 16 pounds and then actually to the general public it's 20 pounds which is insane reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness to be fair i could do with that i've got dark circles half the time anyway so i think it's me that needs it more than my mum this is the next thing. What is this? Oh my god, Steve Laurent. Now, I've actually got something from Steve Laurent. We got a little, um, I think it was like a lip stain thing. It was either in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar or one of the boxes earlier in the year, and I absolutely love it. So, I'm a big fan of Steve Laurent just because of that lip tint. This is a lip liner. Just struggling to get it out of the packaging. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, it is. It's like a dark pink. Dark pink is just not a colour that I would ever go for, but I actually really like this. I think it looks really nice. That's full size and it's worth £12 9p, which is amazing. I love that box. I think it's so, so nice. I mean, definitely my favourite thing is the Molten Brown. Like, that is literally my favourite ever. Molten Brown do that and they also do another scent, which I absolutely love. And I think it's like Ginger Lily or... I was going to say Peppercorn, but I think I'm just thinking about Peppercorn sauce on steak, to be honest. It's something like Pepper something. And Anyway, I'll think of it at some point and tell you. But yeah, oh my god, I loved that box. Thank you so much, Glossy Box. That was so kind. I always keep my Glossy Boxes. Fun fact, I've literally got like loads in my wardrobe. I must have at least like 10 to 15. It's a bit of a joke to be honest, but I always keep them. Oh my god, I literally just answered my own question. On the back page of this little magazine is all the Glossy Box skincare stuff. That's so, so cool. They've got like a foaming cleanser, gel cleanser, three-in-one moisturizer, hydrating mist. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I might have to invest and try some of this stuff out. Love that. Thanks so much, Glossy Box. I thought that would be like a nice way to start the vlog. So I was excited like unboxing stuff, isn't it? I've actually got a bit of eyeshadow on today, guys. First bit of eyeshadow for quite a long time, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not that bold, it's just like really, really light, but it took me ages to blend. I was like, that here for ages, just blending my eyeshadow aimlessly watching YouTube, so. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm going out for tea. I won't take my vlog camera. If I'm honest, I'll show you my bag that I'm taking. It doesn't really go with the whole jumpsuit, but I actually had a beautiful white shoulder bag, but it was really, really old and it was looking a little bit tatty. And I think I donated it to charity or I gave it to somebody earlier in lockdown. So this is like the only going out bag that I've got, so I'm gonna take this. I've not really got enough room to be taking a camera as well. I've got a really exciting weekend coming up actually. I'm just gonna vlog like here and there. I'm gonna vlog what I can. Tomorrow I've got the day off, which is so exciting. I love having a day off near my birthday, doing stuff that I like to do. I'm going out for lunch tomorrow. I'm also going to a drive-in cinema. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. I'm off to a driving cinema tomorrow and then it's my birthday on a Saturday and I've got a nice little day planned, so. You're in for a treat. I always vlog my birthday. I like to vlog my birthday and just like snapshot little bits. Someone messaged me actually and said, I put it on my Instagram actually, I put it on my story. It said like, oh my God, I cannot believe it's been a whole year since your 21st when you were sat in your kitchen and I literally handmade. If you've not watched that vlog, go watch it. Or if any of you guys can actually remember from last year, let me know. But I was literally sat in my kitchen for like two nights straight, just like hand making these decorations for my party. It was so fun. It. They actually did look really really good in the end. Yeah, someone messaged me saying like I cannot believe how time has flown since then Like I cannot even tell you what's happened in the past year. It's just gone so so quick. So yeah crazy times We're here. I'm gonna be 22. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Thanks so much for tuning in I hope you're all doing really well. Hope you're keeping safe I hope you enjoy this vlog and I'll probably see you tomorrow now probably tomorrow morning Can you literally see how lopsided my fringe is tonight? Right, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Stop rambling. See you tomorrow probably in about three seconds for you. Bye Good morning, welcome to another day. I'm like half wiping my face as I'm talking to you because although I did take my makeup off last night, like a full on, well, I didn't cleanse, that would be a lie. I didn't cleanse, I just like used micellar water. You always wake up, don't you, and still feel like you've got bits on your face. I'm kind of like wiping my face. And I know wipes are not the best to use, but here we are. I'm using them, but good morning. I've actually got the house to myself this morning. I've woken up and nobody's here, so I'm buzzing about that. I've actually just made myself a little coffee out of my 21 mug. So I obviously got this for my 21st birthday. Doesn't take a genius to work that one out, does it? But this is actually like the last day I'll be able to use this mug and not feel old. Every time I use this mug now, after today, I will be older than what it says on the mug. And it's just a bit depressing, isn't it, really? The weather is meant to be glorious today it was actually so beautiful last friday the weather was literally like 30 degrees all day it was gorgeous and then this week it's meant to be the same on friday it's just so weird it's like just fridays and saturdays which is amazing because obviously i've got today off so yeah it's meant to be gorgeous weather i can already see the sun shining outside which is insane but last night was so good it was so much fun we went to a place called 
Hedra House. We didn't go there the whole time, but this is like the place that I booked after our meal for drinks and I absolutely love it in there. It's a place in Leeds. If you're from Leeds, you'll probably know of it to be honest, or like around Leeds. It's quite popular to be honest. I think like a lot of people go there if they're like visiting Leeds and stuff. It's quite quirky and cool, if you know what I mean. But the vibe's just so nice in there. It's just really cool and chilled out and the drinks are really nice as well. I actually tried a new drink last night, which is gonna be my drink of choice. Like I'm not gonna lie. Vodka and lemonade is pretty standard, isn't it? I feel like every man and the dog gets the vodka and lemonade. However, I got last night a slow gin and lemonade because basically I have been to Hedra House before and they used to do these amazing cocktails. Like they used to do two for one cocktails and every cocktail on the menu was just insane. Like they used to do two for one sangria and it was so, so nice. Oh, it might not have been two for one. I think it was buy one, get the other one for a pound. So like pretty much two for one. So I used to get that. So when I went in, I was like, oh my God, I'm obviously just gonna get that. But then it wasn't on the menu because you had to order through an app. So anyway, um, I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to order. So I ordered myself like a cook. And then when the waiter came, I was like, can I get a sangria? And she was like, no, nah, we don't even do that. And I was like, what? Like, I'm sure I've been here and had one before. So I thought I'd try something new and I tried a slow gin and lemonade. And honestly, it tasted like sherbet slash a strawberry lace. It was so nice. And then I just had them all night. That was so, so beautiful. I've had slow gin before. The reason why I just chose it, I didn't just choose it on a whim, is because ages ago, right? When, I think it was actually like two years ago in 2018, I went to York with my best friend and we always do like a day in york a year to be fair we've had ours because i vlogged it the other week but yeah so we went for a day out in york and it was around christmas time and we went to this one place called joe's kitchen and i absolutely love it there we got like a few cocktails and she ordered one and i ordered one and i ordered one that i didn't even like like i always do it i always try something new and then i'd say like 90 percent of the time i don't actually like it and then i have to swap with whoever i'm with um which i know is so bad like i should just order what i know but I just like trying new stuff, you know? You never know what you're gonna get. You never know if you're gonna absolutely fall in love with something new. So anyway, in this cocktail that she got, which I ended up with, it had slow gin in it, and that was like the distinctive feature of the cocktail, if that makes sense. Like, obviously cocktails normally got like loads of nice sweet stuff in it, hasn't it? But this was the slow gin that made it taste so nice. So that's why I kind of went for that. And I've literally not had slow gin since that. It was so, so nice. Honestly, it was so nice. So that's gonna be like my drink of choice. I don't really know if many places will just have that. Like, I don't think it's gonna be like a pub drink, but most most places that have like a variety of gins will have slow gin. It's spelled S-L-O-E, by the way. If you like going out and having a drink, but you don't absolutely love the taste of really strong alcohol, because that's me, like, for example, really strong wines and stuff, they are a little bit strong for me. Like, I genuinely just don't enjoy the taste of them. Slow gin is honestly... It's a game changer. It's really, really nice. So yeah, that was my night last night. It was really, really good. Got some chips on the way home. Got a taxi back as well and wore a mask on the way home. Me and my friend did. So that was nice and safe. Yeah, it was really awkward actually because I had my mask on and I just wanted to eat a chip. But I couldn't eat a chip because I had the mask on. I'm feeling all good today. I'm actually feeling like fine. I got in last night and my mum was up and she was like, I thought you were going to be really drunk. And I was like, no, like I said, I'm very civilised. Like I said before I went to a few people, I was like, I'm not going to be getting really, really drunk. Like I am very sensible. I'm very civilised. So I actually feel fine this morning, like I don't feel hungover at all. Oh my god, I've been rambling on for like 10 minutes, that's so bad. Um, I'm gonna chill this morning. I've got a couple of hours, to be honest, until I'm going out for lunch. I've not even told you the crack with today, have I? So I'm going out for lunch with my friend. It's, we're having like a full day together, but it's kind of like dotted about in the day. It's weird. So we're gonna go for lunch, which is exciting. We're gonna go somewhere new. So usually we go to this particular coffee shop in this town, right? It was the place that we went to so often in, not actually in lockdown, but you know, like when restaurants and cafes and stuff could open again, we would go there, get a coffee and have a little walk around a park and stuff. So we would do that and it would be really, really nice. And then there's this new place. I don't actually know how new it is. Like I think it's new because I've never been, but I don't actually know if it's been there the whole time. Literally like three doors up from our coffee shop that we went to like all the time. Neither of us had any idea this place existed. And apparently it's like a vegan cafe. I'm really excited to go actually. I've not really, I don't think I've ever been to a vegan cafe. I lie, I lie. I have actually been to a vegan cafe, but it was abroad. So it was, I mean, it's actually really, really nice. I remember having like this gorgeous smoothie there. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to go there for lunch. Then I'm going to come home, chill for a little bit. And then tonight we're off to a drive-in cinema, which I definitely remember mentioning this yesterday. But yeah, we're off to a drive-in cinema. It's with Luna Cinema. You might have seen them like on your paid advertisements on Instagram and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm going to have to have some water because I can literally hear like how croaky my voice sounds. But yeah, drive-in cinema. So excited. We're going to see Pretty Woman which I'm so excited about. I've not watched it in a really long time, like maybe a couple of years, but I love the film. Like I love Pretty Woman so, so much. But yeah, um, I will love you and leave you. I'll speak to you soon, probably when I'm getting ready. I've got no idea what I'm wearing. So we'll probably have to choose an outfit together. I'm not gonna lie.
Guys, I'm literally just about to put on my makeup and I thought I would mention this. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E SPF. Honestly, this stuff has saved me this summer. I'm not joking. I've worn it like every single day, even when the sun is not actually shining. It's so good. It's SPF 30. It's just like a really thin consistency and it feels so light on your skin. Like you literally cannot feel it once you've got it on. And obviously it's SPF 30, which is so, so good. The sun is literally shining through my bedroom today, which is so nice. I'm just about to put some makeup on and get ready for a bit of lunch. A better lunch, love. This is today's perfume of choice. It is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Honestly, this smell is so divine. I love it so, so much. This is today's outfit of choice. Choice? I said that in such a weird accent, didn't I? But it just, like, came out. I've got this really, really cute little dress on from Topshop. This was actually bought. I say this was bought. I bought it in lockdown, and I put it in a Topshop haul. I've not really worn it much since I bought it, so, yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I've got my little Reebok on with some little socks. I thought I would take a denim jacket. I mean, I'm gonna end up taking this off because it's honestly so, so warm outside, but it's always good to have a little jacket just in case, isn't it? So, ready to go. Get some brunch slash lunch. Whoop, whoop. Good morning, it is my birthday. Oh my god, I'm 22. I'm not gonna sing the Taylor Swift song and sing, oh my god, I'm 22. But I am 22 today. I got up so early this morning. I literally woke up at like 7 a.m. like a little kid. I was like, oh my god, it's my birthday. I've just got ready. I've put on my outfit of the day. I'm gonna show you it now in the mirror. Even though a few of you guys will have probably seen this on my Instagram, but here we are. Got this little denim skirt on. Really, really nice, like poofy white top. It's quite summery. It's literally such a gorgeous day outside. I'm not joking. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, we're gonna have family round this morning and have some breakfast. Yeah, I'm literally just looking outside at the garden because all the garden furniture's out. I'll go and show you it in a second. Thank you so much for all your birthday messages already. It's, it's literally like half past nine in the morning. I like it's actually ten to ten. Ten to 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 ten. If you don't do that when it's ten to ten, then I don't even know who you are. What was I even saying? Yeah, thank you so so much for your guys' messages because I've already got loads um from you guys. You're all so lovely to me so thank you to everybody who sent me a birthday message i don't want to not say that on the vlog so yeah thank you so much i've just got another one. Oh my god people are so lovely thank you so so much i'm obviously just gonna vlog like this morning and vlog what i can i got some absolutely gorgeous gifts i'm not joking honestly i've been spoiled rotten i'll film what i got for my birthday video probably next week sometime but yeah i don't want to like show you everything that i got because i'm gonna do that video i honestly got some gorgeous stuff so yeah really really buzzing feeling very lucky i'm gonna go downstairs maybe make myself a little coffee and i'm gonna show you outside like the garden furniture and stuff because that's where we're gonna sit because it's such a gorgeous day i'm so so happy the sun is shining yeah right let's go downstairs oh look it looks so lovely. Look at all the garden furniture. Look at these beautiful birthday flowers. I love that one. Guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm literally just waiting for people to come round, but I don't want to not fully finish the vlog and like, oh my God, you can literally hear next door so bad. Yeah, I don't wanna like finish the vlog in a rush or anything and I've got like a spare 15, 20 minutes. So I'm already having such a lovely day, honestly. I love birthdays, just so lovely, aren't they? And you get to see all your favorite people as well and you get to celebrate with them. So that's gonna be lovely. Can't wait for everybody to come round. Feeling all positive. I have actually lost my sunglasses though and the sun is shining so, so bright and I've not got any sunglasses to put on love that for me love that little birthday treat you know what i never actually spoke and introduced the whole drive-in cinema situation the drive-in cinema was so so good it was so much fun we watched pretty woman and it was so good i've literally not seen it in years i think i said that yesterday but it was so good to watch it and like i don't know fall in love with the film all over again it was so like different like the whole experience was just so different to a usual cinema experience obviously but it was so so lovely it was so i don't know it felt a bit american and like a little bit summery it was so nice so yeah i've had such a lovely couple of birthday days birthday days um like a birthday week to be honest and i'm gonna continue to enjoy the fun of the weekend so yeah thank you so so much for watching this vlog i really do hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to like it subscribe down below if you haven't already also keep an eye out for the what i got for my birthday video because that will be coming out probably probably next week to be honest i will keep you guys updated on instagram as to when that's gonna go live so yeah thank you so so much for watching stay safe and i'll see you soon for a new video bye